Okay, for this one, you're gonna watch me do my lunge and then I'm going to arch my back too much through the whole thing. So this is an example for a walking lunge where I'm taking a step forward. If I keep this arch in my back when I land, then you'll see I never get like a totally straight spine position. I kind of have too swooping of a low back curve. Um, and it looks like this. Okay, and I could walk forward and take steps that way, or I could just push myself back. And you'll notice that I lead my shoulders back first. And so I get a little bit of lower body involvement when I do it that way. And it's better than just like totally collapsing forward when I take my step. But what I'm looking for here is just a slight little hip tuck to take some of the tension out of the low back to kind of loosen up for multi-directional movement in my hips. Um, and so it's gonna look something like this. If the wrong way that you were doing it is like this, then the right way that you should be doing it is like this. Now it's really subtle and you can kind of, um, it's easy to miss, okay? Um, so I'm gonna show you a really exaggerated way that you might do it. So I might do it this way. And when I'm doing that, I feel a lot in the front of my hip and I feel a lot in my low back. Now, if I just set up with a little hip tuck here, and now I feel my heels in the ground, so that's good step number one to notice. And then I'm gonna just try to hang on to that, try to find that again once I get to the bottom. Good. And then I still have my heel for my stepping leg here. If I arch my back, then I'm gonna find my toe or the ball of my foot. And if I round my back again, then I'm gonna find my heel again. Okay, so to fix it, just set here, get your little hip tuck first, and then try to get it on the way out there. If you find it's too difficult to get while you're moving, then just start in this kneeling position and try to push your foot in the ground. Try to feel that heel. Now, if I'm arched in my back, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be certain that I'm actually feeling my heel. I'm gonna be like, yeah, I mean, I'm pushing my foot in the ground, but I can't quite tell. Um, so instead, what I want is I want to tuck those hips and then push that heel. I feel more hamstring here involved and then I can drive off of that. And you can just kind of practice starting from that half kneeling position.